What's going on YouTube? As you can tell by the jacket, <clears throat> it is cold out here today. It has dropped. Let's see. It has dropped down to 36 degrees. It is freezing. And I'm back out in the shop today. I've got to do some more organization. I have got to build a stand or a holder for my planes. Now, I told you I've got this wood that I stole from my son, whatever, uh, that we were using for shelves. And I've got the table saw set up. And since this isn't wide enough for my, my longest plane, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip it down into two inch six, uh, sections. I've got the blade set at two inches. I had these French cleats made up for putting the shelving up in my son's room, but since we're not using them, I can use them to hold in the bottom of the planes. You'll see what I'm talking about when I start putting it together. I hope. I don't have a plan for this. Just going off the top of my head. <laughs> but uh, these are long enough, and when I get a box together, it should be pretty nice. So I'm going to cut an inch off of this, and then I've got another panel I'm going to cut an inch off of because I need at least 20 inches for my longest plane which is 18 inches long and I need play in there for you'll see now this section right here isn't wide enough for what I need and I don't need this much of a cleat to hold the planes in place so I'm going to trim this down just a little bit to give me more surface area to put a screw in there. Again, you'll see what I'm talking about. See? More surface area right there. Sort of see how this is coming together. I have to have seven inches for the small planes. These are the planes that are going to cause me problems because I have to have a cutout here and they need to be longer for the cleat system to hold on to them. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do these longer ones or move this board up and figure out how I'm going to do these shorter ones. It's always something. But these are going to go on the end and somewhat frame it up. But I got a long way to go. Let's see how this turns out. All right, this is where I've gotten to so far. I've got getting the spacing down, putting a strip up in between. And pulling them tight and then screwing everything down next thing I need to do is figure out putting across the strips and I have to do that for each individual one because they have their own individual needs as far as how far they need to come up before they come out I'm gonna to have to do some trimming on here for these because they're not going to come up that far these these as well plus I also need to trim in through here for the handles on these bench planes that's what I've been doing so it looks like it's going to be a two-parter because it's freaking cold <laughs> it is cold outside and I'm it's getting dark <clears throat> and I'm gonna have to Put everything up, clean up my mess, and start getting uh, everything put up. Can you see that? Mm, that's a pine knot. That is some fat wood right there. 
that cut up really nice gummed up my blade but it cut up really nice so I'm gonna get all this cleaned up I've been making some sawdust put everything away and finish it up on another day but it's getting to the point where I'm pretty close it's gonna get everything organized and get all my planes taken care of so it is coming along it will be finished one of these days uh, somewhere around in there to keep them from falling out because it's going to go straight up and down it's not going to be laying on anything it's just going to go up against the wall i'm thinking about putting it here and if i can put it on tracks across here i can move it and then open up storage down here but that's another another video all together so <laughs> if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you didn't like give me a thumbs down and always please leave comments down below and uh hit that little red subscribe button for me if you wouldn't mind and check out these videos i might have something on there that you like all right i'll talk to y'all later bye